Hello everyone, my name is Sprinkle Soup and welcome back to your daily serving of awesome. We're back in Hollow Knight, yay! We had a happy time getting a new superpower from this guy. We don't have any soul so I can't, I can't re-demonstrate it. But it's a big pew pew death beam that nicely destroys so many things. We can use it to kill beasties from a range which is important for the super defensive types. Like the one guy who is blocking that area up there, yes. But, before we go up there and get rid of him, I thought we should pay a visit back up to the top of Dirtmouth, where we can visit the little Yoda praying mantis looking guy. Because, uh, I think he might have some good stuff for us, and we definitely have plenty of money, so we can stock up on other items as well. But I'm going to be making my way back up there if I find anything interesting along the way. Like, whatever's over here. I guess I'll share that first. What is this? Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirtmouth and purchase a map of this area. Available now for an excellent price, Cornifer. Well, you're just putting your ads everywhere. Oh, oh, okay, so, okay, I'm not lost anymore. Now I know where we are. Got it. Okay, well, we're gonna head back up there and we're gonna look at some maps and other items that might be available to us and then we'll go and kill the baddie that was blocking our way. Hmm. Alright, we're back in the mouth of dirt. Let us find where this little Yoda, Yoda Mantis guy's shop is. I'm guessing it's this newly lit place, because I don't think this was lit up before. Yoda Mantis guy, hi! How you doing? Devil then, Ah, hello. I knew we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here selling old trinkets to travelers like yourself. If you're planning on a trip below, I've several items that may improve your chance of survival. Not that I doubt you or anything, but you can never have enough chance at survival if you ask me. Let's see, a mask shard. This old thing? Merely a fragment of something larger. Still, maybe you can make some use of it. Vessel fragment. Piece of a soul vessel. Ghastly glowing aura looking things. I like the aura, but charge prize. Simple key, a little bit of variety of locks. Poking around, I don't belong. Gathering swarm. Find yourself leaving a lot of geo behind. This will make sure that they pick it up for me. Star shell. Life and loss can be tough. More time to recover after taking damage. Uh, new lantern. Bright little value is your companion. Okay. I found an area that would need that. I bumped into, I don't know if I edited it out because not much really happened there. But I did find an area that was completely like pitch black dark and I had no idea what I was doing in there. So that seems like an, air, an item for that area. And a rancid egg. I found this under the counter. Some creature must have laid it here while I was stuck down in the ruins. I suppose you could buy it. Whatever. Sure. I'll take that. That sounds like the best thing here. Item purchased. Mask shard seems to be for more health eventually. I guess we'll collect it like heart pieces from Legend of Zelda. Same with the Vessel Fragment. I guess that'll give us more storage space for using spells and healing. Simple Key, not sure what that's gonna be too. Gathering Swarm, and eh, it's just convenience, whatever. Uh, we'll save our money for now. I wanna visit the map shop as well, see what's up there. Hello! <sighs> ah, you again. Let's see, I mean, these are just convenience pins for knowing where these are. Huh. I don't really need any of these. I don't know what to spend my money on. I'm I have a very bad habit in games where I I just hoard money. I love making money in games. In fact, I recently downloaded like Black Desert Online, not for any of the PVP or anything really, just to play as a merchant so I could just go back and forth and make money and be stinking filthy rich because I really enjoy that in games. So, spending money is hard for me. It's very painful. I feel like the next really important thing is gonna be buying this simple key, so we'll save up for that. I mean, you don't need extra health if you're pro and you don't get hit, right? Oh. That should be a way for back down. Let's go and get that beastie out of our way. I think it was a thing about, like, the Verdant City or whatever. I don't remember the name, I'm bad at that, but uh... Dima. Yeah, take me back to the Forgotten Crossroads. We'll head on down, we'll get the thing out of our way, and we will continue onwards, because I don't think there's anything left for us to find here, and we still need better jumping ability. Very frustrating, I can't double jump. Alright, 
this should be the place where the beastie was. Pilgrim's Way, travels a hollow nest, sent to the very wilds, fungal groves, blah, blah blah All shall be granted, all shall be revealed. Once I get this guy out of my way. My wrong button. No, that took one more hit than I thought it would. I hate your baboos, particularly. There we go. Kept wanting to hold it. And I'm like, no, that's the healing spell. Go. And screw yourself. And your baboos. Thank you. I'll use that little bit to heal. So now that that's out of the way, got a fair bit of money from that. Ooh! Hot acid like water. Yay! And guess we'll just drop onto that. This is fun traversing. Still very pretty though. I really love all the blue and green tones that this game has. Did I want to go up there? Or did I want to be down here like I am? Oh well. Guess I'm getting up there anyway. Very nice new change of locale. A little bit of more pops of color. I really enjoy it. The Green Path. It is aptly named. So. We got new enemies. Yay! You're a cute fuzzy wuzzy woo. You seem like you... Yep. I called it. I'm like, you seem like an explodey type. Ooh! Ooh! Okay. I did not have time to register what was happening. But now that I know, that won't happen again. What's up here? Hello? What are you? Ow. You're pain. You're pain, so you die. Can't do anything more to your corpse. You are fortunate. Healing again as we get used to all these new enemies and screw ourselves over falling. I am so leet. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Oh, you're a, you're a punchy Fuzzy Wuzzy. I'm not sure which ones are going to explode and which aren't. You're an explodey. That's what I'm going to call you. Did I knock you into acid water? No. Ha! Gonna explode? Okay. I feel like we lost a lot of money there. Only got one for that and I'm a bit sad, but... Whatever. We'll make it work. Hello? Monies! Oh, frick! Ow. Can I just get rid of that? Okay, now I just gotta not fall. Oh, maybe I can. Come on. Screw you! Punish you, plant. Think you can just nom nom on me? Very mistaken. I know that if he could think anymore, he now regrets his life decisions. There's a thing up there, too. I'm going to drop down. No? I want to kill you anyway. I've determined my little Hollow Knight is a psychopath. Or at least, that's a fun way to play him, isn't it? I'm sorry to all you people out there who know that he's probably a really great guy and I'm calling him a little psychopath, but just how just how I do things for now. Ooh, a little bench. Map update. I would update my map if I had one. Ooh, you look interesting. You like me? They're running away. I can't double jump. Don't leave me behind. Where is the where is the no buggy boo left behind program? Eh. I'll drown my sorrows in geo money. I find comfort in great wealth. Alrighty. I need to kill you because I need to steal your lunch money. I'm sorry. Uh, I had a lot of money here. I had someone tell me that the Geo is kind of like bug car pisses or however you say it. And uh, it's just creepy. I really don't want to think about using basically dead bodies of their brethren, fellow bug kind as, as currency. It's very morbid. It'd be like if we traded in Oh. If we traded in the flesh of, uh, of humans, you know, instead when, when Pop Pop died, if we just 
skinned them and used that. Ooh. Oh, that lasted a bit longer than I thought. I dodged the initial explosion, but then it just had another poof. Had a poof keep going. Damage keeps going on that poof. I was about to be like, ha, huh, you missed me. But then I bumped into them and it hurt. I still very much hate that in games. When just bumping into a villain hurts you. That would be convenient for real life, wouldn't it? Like if you didn't know if someone was a bad person until you, you accidentally bumped into them on the street and it caused you physical pain, you'd be like, oh man, that was a sad way to die. Ah, uh, you'd be like, oh man, this is, this is obviously a bad person because boy, did that hurt just bumping into them. I brushed against their arm. I did not realize there were spikes down there. Well, that's one way to kill me if you haven't known. Just, just throw money down somewhere. I'll just dive into spikes. Hornifer? You gonna sell me a map of this area? Isn't this a contrast from the crossroads? Such a humid, lively place. The roads twist and turn in the most wonderful ways. I've done my best to chart the area ahead, though I must admit some of the area's inhabitants proved quite a nuisance. Yeah, tell me about it, Cornifer. Purchase a map? Yes. I am wealthy. I can buy all your maps. Probably not, but eh. Oh, we have a decent ways to go before we get to a big fancy bowl of bread. That's what it looks like to me, kinda. We're going to Olive Garden! It actually kinda fits with how the area looks. I'd go up there. But I don't have double jump. Alright then. We have a goal of where we are going. Spike pits can hurt me no more. So then. Oh, hi. Creepy stalker dude. Call those camel flaps. Ooh, owie. Getting ganged up on. I can't just spam my way through this. Oh god. Ooh, I almost jumped into that and killed myself. Ah, I get so complacent with this. And then I remember that these things actually hurt. So then. Cut that down. Not actually go down yet, because I want to know what's over here. It's like the entire gameplay for me is like, what's this? What's this? There's something everywhere. What's this? Is sparkly in the air, I am screwed. Maybe. Blinky blinky, you just roared at me. Uh, hi. How you doing? You're gonna kill me if I just get too close. Or is, you're giving me a kind warning, so I feel like maybe it's like just Sundere, like they kind of roar and yell at you, but really they just want love. Hi, hello. <laughs> Tiny squib, you approach fearless. Are you a hunter like me? Do you feel the urge inside to stalk, to kill, to understand? One of these things is not like the other. Then take it, my journal. It will aid you. At first the text may seem difficult to discern, but a learned hunter will come to understand its words. Venture the depths of this land and slay its beasts. Prove yourself worthy to bear the mark of a hunter. <laughs> Just like sneezed it out at me. Sure, okay. I'll take your glowy snot journal. Press the whatever button. Most likely I on the keyboard. Uh, to open the menu, navigate to the journal pane. Defeat enemies to add new entries to the journal and decipher the hunter's notes. So you've already fought everything. You know, it'd be really funny, it's like, if you you have these kind of journals, but if they're already, like, technically filled in. It'd be funny when I, whenever I reach whatever the big, bad, last boss of this game is, this is already, like, a journal entry. It's like, the hunters already beat him, really. I just had to Sorry. unlock it. Noctuba. Little squid, you may have overcome few creatures, but you are only just beginning. Don't delay. Descend into the belly of this world and hunt down the life you find. See, I told you, we're a psychopathic killer. That's all there is to it. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at what this thing looks like. Journal. The Vengefly. 
Uh, the Crawlid. Gruzzer, Gruz Mother. Tick Tick. <laughs> I don't know why I like that so much. A little Tick Tick. It makes me think there's a time I went to a zoo. There's like a little antelope like looking creature that, that's called a Dick Dick. I, my family and I could not could not contain ourselves. A shade? I don't remember seeing that. Echo of a previous life. Defeated to retake its power and become whole. Huh. When did we see that? Did I miss something? That's interesting. Okay then. I'm gonna take this journal and I'm gonna proceed forward. That was a good little pit stop. We got an important thing. Ooh! I panicked, I panicked, and jumped to safety. Makes me happy. There's something over here. Grub Grub! Oh, you're so happy to see me. I love you and all of your family and everything is good. We're gonna do a little dance together. Okay. Okay. There you go. Be free. Yay! That makes me happy every time I see them. No. No. Snapped all the money into the bad water. It's a sad feeling. Don't want to go that way. I feel like this is probably where we want to go. Hi! What are you? Can I do that? Ow. New journal entry. Explodey pokey. It's like adding bullet hell elements. Explodey regular. Paint explodey. No. That's really on a timer, isn't it? What are you? Those who stray from the White Knight's Road shall face the law of Un. So. Did I do a bad thing? Did I do a bad thing by going off the. off the path? Aren't you? No! I knew that would happen. Well, seems important. Hello? Oh, we got a little dusty bench to improve our map. Oh, there's a lot more paths. Oh! We've started exploring this verdant area. I don't want the episodes to drag on too long. I don't know. If you guys don't mind longer episodes of RPG kind of games like this, let me know. But otherwise, I'll be trying to keep them in shorter, more digestible increments. I only play this once every four days, and I know this is going to take quite a few episodes, I'm sure, to get through. But I'd like to see it through the end. So if you guys don't mind longer episodes, I'll get through it quicker. So just let me know in the comments below. And otherwise, please leave a like if you like and a sub if you love. And we'll continue this next time. Bye-bye.